So what exactly is going on with the Real Housewives of New York? There are all kinds of rumors about casting, people not coming back. Well, I got some exclusive tea that I have to tell you about. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news, when we go live, or when we upload. Happy holidays. Before I even forget, we are right around the corners to the holidays. So happy holidays. And I hope that you all are staying safe, staying healthy, mask up and social distance. And if you're open to it, definitely get vaccinated. Let's get into the Real Housewives of New York. I know a lot, a lot of you have been hitting me up about different stories over the last few weeks. And look, I've put New York on pause as well in regards to the news, unless it's really, really important. But this video might be a little bit longer than normal videos because you're not like to get to the point. But there are a lot of points that we need to talk about when it comes to the Real Housewives of New York. I'm sure you heard all kinds of different stories over the last few weeks in regards to New York. What we know so far, according to Andy Cohen, is that New York is put on pause we probably won't get a new season of New York until 2023. And a lot of you have feelings about the last season of The Real Housewives of New York. And you know I do as well. We recapped it. I told you that Leah can go. And she still can. We also reported on Leah and Ebony's relationship not being truly authentic. And that they're really not friends. And that they haven't spoken. They've both weighed in on social media about this. Well, at least the only person I saw weigh in was Leah. <laughs> but we also have seen recent stories from Jill Zarin saying that Ramona is necessary, necessary. So in the interview, as you know, Jill Zarin is going to be on the second season of the uh, Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, which will be taking place at Dorinda Medley's Berkshire's home. No confirmation on the date of when that will air. I'm thinking top of next year. So she said this in an interview. Listen, I don't think they could do Roni without Ramona. They need Ramona. They need Luann. And I think they need me. No, they don't, Jill. I love you and I've advocated for Jill Zarin to come back for years. But based on what I've been hearing, the reason why Jill hasn't come back is because she's a terror behind the scenes, allegedly. But it, it wouldn't surprise me that these OGs gathered together, let's try and get me back on the show. I, I will go out there and say, Ramona is necessary for the show. Luann is necessary for the show. Look, these ladies understand the game of television and Bravo. They understand that if they put out certain things to the media, this will get the fans advocating for them to be on the show. So it wouldn't surprise me that these ladies would be doing this right now. Because we've heard over the years, these ladies utilize media. I've told you guys. The housewives all do this. They make friends with certain bloggers and media outlets and get their narratives out there. We've seen them talk about it on the show. Speaking of which, Countess Luann did an interview recently and talked about or alluded to someone leaking the, the racist comment investigation against Ramona Singer. So if you don't recall, there was an investigation to an allegation about Ramona Singer saying something racist, okay? So Luann was asked this question about that during a recent interview. And I have to say, and I recently posted on my Instagram story about microaggressions. A lot of us saw, a, saw, saw certain things that Luann did during last season that we were like, we're not surprised, but damn, when it comes to the microaggressions that she had against Ebony K. Williams. In this interview that she did a couple of weeks ago, this is what Luann says about the leaked story about this investigation against Ramona. So this is what she said in the interview. She says, it just makes me wonder who, who the spies are and who are the people around us that we can't be trusting. It feels unnerving. It's like there's a thief in the house. Is there somebody stealing something from me while I'm having a shower? I'm not quite sure where it's coming from, but that's a little worrisome. And then the host goes on to cite what Kyle Richards has said in the past. You always have to look at who the story benefits and noted that it was quite clear who the story, which included just Ebony and Ramona. The connotation, first of all, what the way that Luann described a thief in the house, the microaggressions of it all. Look, 
I know a lot of you are like, oh my goodness, you didn't like this person or that person last season, specifically the newbies, Leah and Ebony. Some of you have called Ebony a race baiter. I've even seen it in the comments of this particular interview, liked by the interviewer. One of the things that were exposed during this season was the amount of racism within the Bravo world. And I think a lot of people were afraid to talk about it, address it, but I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it in the comment section of when we cover certain stories, specifically about Roni. And I've seen it about other issues, more, more recently about the Heather situation on Below Deck. And I've seen a lot of other bloggers, commenters, Instagram users talk about the amount of racism being exposed when we talk about race on these shows. People want to avoid and escape from racism. Uh, lucky you. That is your privilege that you can escape from racism on a reality show. Unfortunately, for some of us, we can't escape it. So you wanting to escape from it on television. Yeah, I get it. You want some you want to forget about what's going on in your life and have something where you can escape. However, this is a reality show. This is not a scripted show. So beyond the problematic and microaggressions that Luann made in the media sidebar, I know I did hear about the Dine and Dash situation. According to Luann, she didn't know about it. She thought someone else was paying. She alludes that she had put down her credit card before they had scanned, had scanned her credit card. She later allegedly gave them a really, really great tip and paid the bill. There's been a lot of stuff going on. There's been a lot of stuff going on, specifically when it comes to casting for the Real Housewives of New York. I know a lot of people have been hearing all kinds of things. At one minute, we're hearing a complete cast shakeup. The only people returning are Ramona and Sonia. We, that was one of the rumors. Another rumor said that the only person coming back was Ramona. There was another rumor where Ramona had been fired. Look. When we talked about the investigation behind Ramona's alleged racist comments, which she has denied, which she has denied, I said, look, I've heard things from other multiple sources about things that Ramona has allegedly said behind the scenes. OK, and not necessarily about Ebony. Over the years, over the years. And beyond that, so many of you said, forget about what she said off camera. What about the things that she said on camera? So much so that Bravo canceled the reunion for Roni last season to protect her. Don't believe the BS where Bravo's saying, oh, well, you know, because of timing and delays and blah, 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 blah. That's why we couldn't do the Roni reunion. No, they wanted to protect their neck so that they could have Ramona on the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. It's obvious. It's right in front of our eyes. It's right in front of our eyes. And then they try to utilize the show to sort of soften everyone back to Ramona, which it really didn't. And then we saw on Watch What Happens Live when they had all the ladies from the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, Andy Cohen give her a platform to apologize and give us some publicity, public relations um, apology about the anti-Semitic things that she did during the Real Housewives of New York. So I know you all like Kempire. Okay, what's the exclusive? What do you have to know? And this is just a little T. This is just a little T because it should be known that the Real Housewives of New York, no one has signed a contract. According to my sources, close to production, no one has signed a contract. So all the rumors that you hear about, oh, this person is coming back, this person's not coming back, based on what I'm hearing, there is no one signed on for season 14 of the Real Housewives of New York. And the stories that we hear on social media, the stories that we're hearing in the media are being put out there by people that are nervous. From what I hear, all of the ladies are nervous about their position. All of them. So from what I hear, there are no contracts. They haven't even started negotiating yet, according to my sources. From what I hear, the housewives have, have been told to hold on, stand by, no official word yet. And I hear that there are some newbies. No word on if they're going to be housewives or friend does. But a lot of times that's not decided until the season is fully underway. And people can, and the producers can see what they actually have. So the newbies also don't have a contract. The newbies are still still in the mix, 
So despite all the rumors that you're hearing about people being fired, I, I heard in the last couple of weeks, Ebony has been fired. I heard that Ramona has been fired. And then we heard Ramona and Sonia were the only ones coming back. Luann during this recent interview was like, you know, sometimes, you know, the produ I'm not a producer, but, you know, they do check in with me about, you know, casting. Luann, I was about to say, tell her to, Luann, your job is not safe either. They're not checking with you about casting. Stop it. They're not. Luann, but we already know who Luann is. We see her on the show. We understand. Luann thinks she's greater than she actually is and has the most influence than anyone. No, you don't. You don't. Again, according to my sources, none of the ladies have contracts. Negotiations have not even started yet. The newbies are everyone. Everyone's on step. Everyone is on pause. Everyone is on pause. When Andy Cohen says that New York, the Real Housewives of New York is on pause, he means that. Everyone is on pause right now. There's no contracts. There's no confirmation of who's coming back and who's not coming back. There are newbies from what I hear. And even they do not know what's going on. I'm thinking Bravo wants us to wait it out so much so that, because we understand when a story comes out, Society has a very short-term memory. They really do. So they're thinking if they pause this just long enough, we'll forget about these investigations behind Ramona that we didn't get a Real Housewives of New York reunion. No, because I'm going to be here to remind you. I'm, gonna, I'm going to be here stirring the pot. Stirring the pot. Guys, let's continue this conversation below. I want to know your thoughts on what my sources are saying. Who do you want to see come back? You already know how I feel about this. I wouldn't care if they did an entire cast shakeup, but they are not brave enough to do that. And based on everything that I've seen and heard behind the scenes about Ramona, nope, she can she can go too. It's time to mix it up. You can't call this Real Housewives of New York and not have actual housewives. Not have actual housewives. And I said that about Leah. I said that about Ebony. I've said that about the OGs who I've loved over the years. But at this point... A full cast shakeup would be beneficial. Would be beneficial, but again, Bravo's not going to do that. So who do you want to be the anchors for season 14 of The Real Housewives of New York? Let's continue that conversation below. I'm excited to hear a little bit more. So any more sources that have close connections to production, be sure to reach out to me. Everything's at textkempire.com. Let's continue the conversation below, guys. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Happy holidays and thanks for watching.